an Indian citizen or studying in India, applying for AP examination, which is advanced placement, you aim to target to uh, higher education with uh, in the countries like Australia, Canada, US, UK, Singapore. Then by taking AP examination, you can reduce the number of courses that you would have to take in the universities there. Now, it is desirable that you cover around four to eight APs. However, how many APs you cover is totally your choice. There is not, not nowhere a compulsion on it. But if you are applying from India, you should know that overall there are around 34 APs of which around 22 to 23 are offered in India. Now, uh, the 2023 guidelines are important. As per the new guidelines, student must be enrolled in an affiliated secondary school, which is a high school to take the AP examination. Now, this students testing at the secondary school is done where they are enrolled. The students should be enrolled at a secondary school but should be giving the test at another center. That's also okay. Students who are who are doing home schooling uh, can participate as an independent candidate and uh, attend virtual school for the same and also if the student is below ninth grade then also a student can appear for your ap examination now what are the courses which are offered in india so here are the list of the courses that that are offered for ap in india those preparing for a stem have a huge segment of course for example these three courses are mandatory uh, not mandatory means if you do these courses you won't have to do those in college again so uh, if you take it on the early that is a benefit to you right uh, now again calculus there are two calculus ab and bc now ab is for business and economics bc is for stem students uh, so that's the difference if you are targeting to certain universities in united states many universities have ab U.S. history as one of the compulsory courses in their undergrad programs many do not have so you would have to also identify the universities where you intend to apply also U.S. Uh, government and polity is another compulsory course in some of the universities so if you do it beforehand you do get an added advantage if you are in your early stages in uh, 9 10th grade you can definitely cover uh, subjects which are relatively easier for example statistics history, uh, US history, world history, European history, uh, any stream of history, whatever country you want to pursue your higher education. Language and literature, if you are really sound, at, uh, sound in language and literature, you should apply for it. Otherwise, you should take your time before you appear for language and composition or literature and composition. 11th and 12th is a good time to apply for the science APs, which is the calculus, uh, physics, chemistry, biology. Um, so those are some of the basic ideas that you must have in mind uh, micro macroeconomics you can apply after your 10th if you are from I IB board IGCSC or uh, ICSC if you are from CBSE definitely after 12th would be a good time to cover the micro macro because that's already covered in one of your syllabus now in India where do you have the centers so here is the complete list of centers that you have uh, like some of the states have multiple centers for example Tamil Nadu has three centers two in Chennai itself one in Coimbatore Maharashtra has two centers again in Mumbai one in Pune uh, so th there is a kind of good distribution of centers across the country so it's not like that you would have to move far off specifically students from northeast would have West Bengal as one of the centers because you do not have one of the regions from northeast uh, otherwise most of the students would get their centers nearby and the name of the centers uh, are actually available with a list. So these are the cities where you can apply for your AP examination. Definitely it's a good way to reduce your tuition charges if you are looking to complete your undergrad program in lesser duration uh, and it is also saving your time. Uh, on top of that you get additional uh, benefit in the college while you are being uh, selected as one of the candidates for the undergrad program.